Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a makeup haul, so let's get right into it. So I have a whole thing of makeup. This is going to be part one. There's going to be a part two. I'm waiting for some stuff to come in the mail. So yeah. So let's jump right in. I went to Ulta and I got my e.l.f. camo concealer. I got another one. This one I've used and used and used. <laughs> I got a backup of this one. Um, they look different in the bottle. I don't know if it oxidizes or what, but the color is different. I don't know why the, um, the shade looks darker and it is the same shade. It's medium beige. I don't know what's going on, but I have to figure something out. So I bought this um, camo concealer in the medium beige for a little backup of this. It's similar, but this one is in the shade light beige. So I don't know. The one that I usually use is the medium beige. So I'm hopefully those will work. I don't know. So I have two of the e.l.f. Um, hydrating concealers. I really like these. They're really hydrating under the eyes. They look really pretty. I'm wearing it today. I absolutely love it. I swear by it. It's so good. Um, I do like the matte one too, but I just like the hydrating one a little bit better. Next thing I got from Ulta is the Lash Princess. I have been using the regular Lash Princess, but now they have the waterproof version. This is very inexpensive. They're very good. I just I just love this by Essence. So good. Um, I use it every single day when I do my makeup. It's awesome. And it's only about three bucks. So I picked that up at Ulta, the waterproof version. Never tried the waterproof. I've always used the green one, which is just the regular um, Lash Princess. So I bought the e.l.f. Putty Blush. Um, I did buy another one. I bought one on um, Elf's website, so I'll get into the Elf haul a little later. Turks and Caicos, I think it's what it's called. It's a very beautiful orangey pinky shade. I really like this. I've always liked this shade. Um, I've used it in the past. They had it in a powder form, like a compact. So, yeah, I'm glad they have it in the putty blush. So I'm going to give that a try. I also picked up this. This was a recommendation. Um, I've been looking at YouTube videos, their recommendations, and they recommended this Essence Shine 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 Wet Look um, Lip Gloss. This one is the plumping effect one. It's the only one that was plumping effect, and I love those. So I'm going to give that a try. It just has a diamond coat. It looks just like a diamond shade. So I'm going to give it a try. It looks really pretty in the bottle. Two ColourPop shades. This one is in the shade Ladybird. It's an ultra glitter. I think it's very pretty. It's like a um, golden. It's a golden shade with silver glitter. It's gorgeous in the pan. So I'm gonna give that one a try. I love ColourPop's shadows. I have tons of them. And then I have this one. This one is a super shock shadow. This one is called Ripple, and it's an ultra glitter. And it, it's a purple, but it has uh, blue, yeah, it has like blue glitters in it. Very gorgeous. So I'm going to give that one a try. And then the last thing I got at Ulta is the Essence My Skin Perfector Loose Fixing Powder. This was also a recommendation. Um, I got it in the shade Light. And this one looks like it's a peach color powder. I've never tried a peach color um, setting powder, so... I'm going to give this one a try. I usually wear the, this is the one I usually use. I use the Maybelline Fit Me in Fair Light 10. So I'm going to give this one a try. This one is more of a um, yellow based um, powder. So it's really finely milled. So I think it, I'm going to give this one a try. I heard this one was really good. So I'm going to give this one a try. It's like a peach color powder. I also bought this makeup bag there. This was the Makeup Revolution uh, Nightmare Before Christmas edition. 
So they had um, did a whole makeup collection, and I got the makeup bag. I believe it was like fourteen dollars. I think something like that. I love Nightmare Before Christmas, and it's so cute. It has Jack, Sally, Zero. Um, it has the um, Oogie Boogie on there. Um, it has all of the characters on there. Super cute, and has a black zipper on top. I just love it. It was the only one they had left, so I was happy enough to find it there before they sold out. I went on Elf's website and I bought some new Elf items. It was the Mint Melt collection. So I got a couple of those items. I got a couple of their items. First is the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. Looks like this. It is a um, it's a cooling refresher hydrating vanilla mint scented jelly primer. It's supposed to be the same thing as the watermelon um, jelly primer I think they have on their website, but I never tried that one, so I wanted to give the mint one a try. It's supposed to be leave a cooling effect primer, so I'm going to give that a try. It really looked appealing on the sides. I love anything mint, so of course I went for it. I also have the lip plumping lip gloss in mint sparkle looks like this it's a, it's a clear gloss with mint like blue and green glitters in it looks really pretty i also ordered another color it's coming in the mail so i have to wait for that one so like i said there's going to be a part two of this um makeup haul i got the elf mint melt eyeshadow in mint B. Looks really pretty. Heard good things about this, so I'm gonna give that one a try. Their little bite minis are supposed to be good too. I just haven't tried them. But I did buy the bite size face duo in lychee. Leche? No. Lychee. Looks really pretty. It has a highlighter and a blush duo. So I'm gonna give that one a try. I also I also bought the angled buff brush to try out with the putty blushes and I bought another putty blush looks like this this one is in the color Tahiti so I'm gonna give that one a try it really looks like a pinkish color like a mauvey pink it's really pretty in the pan I also bought the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. Looks really nice. I got it in the shade Fair 15W. Um, this reminds me of the, I think Matt had something like this. I've tried in the past, but this one looks really neat for a brightening. So I'm gonna give that one a try. I also bought the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Looks like this. And this one is in the shade Medium 330W. Um, it's for warm olive undertones. So I'm going to give this one a try. It looks really nice. I've heard some good things about that. So I want to give it a try. I also bought the e.l.f. Holy Hydration um, Face Cream. Yeah, it looks really nice. So... I also bought the e.l.f. Putty, Poreless Putty Primer. I've heard good things about this. It's supposed to be a primer um, for, for poreless effect. So I'm gonna try that. And then I bought the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. It's supposed to be comparable to the um, Urban Decay Nighter Spray. So I'm going to give that one a try. And they gave me this for free. It's the Matte Blotting Powders. I love this. So good. I'm glad, I'm glad I have some backups of that. It really is a good product. It doesn't disturb your makeup. Every time you blot your face, it's, your makeup is still intact. I also got this one. This one is the Sugar plump um sugar plum plump lip plumping gloss looks like this it's a really pretty brownish shade 
It's like a, yeah, it's a brown shade with um, glitters in it. Looks really pretty. So this was only available online, so I went ahead and ordered it. Looks good. I love their plumping lip glosses, so I bought that. I also got the Elf Pr Prismatic Lip Gloss. This was a free one, so it looks really pretty. I also got the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in Always Rosy. I love their Primer Infused Blushes. They're so good. I ordered the bronzer, so it should be coming in the mail soon, too. I want to give those a try. And then I got this also from e.l.f. This one is the um, e.l.f. HD Powder in Soft Radiance. I also, um, I thought it was the other one. It's the Halo Hollow. Um, powder but I'll have to get it another time but I wanted to give this one a try it's like a setting powder so it looks like this so I'm gonna give that a try also Walmart I ordered um, Walmart I picked up a couple things I found this in the clearance you know part this one is in the shade um, light honey this is the Revlon Color Stay. I love this. It's so good. And they had my shade. It was Light Honey. Very good. And I only got it for five bucks. This is usually like a, a $10 bottle. I'm not sure. I think it's like $10. But I got it for five bucks. I thought that was a good deal. I went ahead and picked one up. And then I picked up some lipsticks. I got the new packaging. They're so pretty. They have little lips on them. It's like a, a black packaging there's two kinds the white ones and then the black ones the black ones are matte and the white packaging are the high shines so I got three of the mattes and two of the high shines um, the two high shine colors I got is strawberry I got strawberry lingerie it's a very beautiful color it's so pretty um, it's kind of a peachy pink color this one is kind of a nude and it's called Peach Please. Very pretty color. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to use these. So these are the high shines. And the mattes. I got some of the ones that I loved. Which was Mochalicious. It's a staple. It's a very beautiful all day, um, every day color. Mochalicious. And I got um, Wine Room. Very good. It's a beautiful um brick red and then I have this one which is never nude it's a beautiful nude shade gorgeous got those and then I found this one in a clearance bin this one is the liquid catsuit matte lipstick in nudie patootie and I got it for $2.50 it's a beautiful nude shade I'm going to give that one a try hopefully it doesn't be too nude. I'm, I'm going to use a lip liner with this, of course. It's a very pretty nude shade. And I bought the Wet n Wild Color Icon Camo Flaunt um, palette. It's very beautiful. This glitter shade is gorgeous. So I'm going to give that one a try. So pretty. I think it was like two bucks. It's really good. So I'm going to give that one a try. Two of these Revlon blushes. These were in the Clarence section two at uh, Walmart. They are the Revlon um, powder blushes. One is in the shade Rose Balm. It looks like that. It's very pretty. Kind of a pink color. And this one is called Wild About You. So this one is like a berry shade. It's very pretty in the pan. So I got two of those. Hopefully those are good. So I got them for $4.50. Thought I'd give those a try. I made a order from Shop Miss A and I got a few things. I got the AOA um, Jelly Jam Lip Mask. So you're supposed to use this at night for an overnight lip thing. So it's like a lip balm, so I'm gonna give that one a try. I also bought the I also bought the AOA Slim Brow. I got this in the color dark brown. It's supposed to 
hoping that it is a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. As you know, this one's like 20 bucks, and I'm trying to find a cheaper alternative. So I'm trying out the AOA Studio. I did use them on my brows today. It does okay. It's not as good as the Brow Wiz, though. I really love the Brow Wiz better. But for a cheaper alternative, the AOA one is only a dollar. It's on the Shop Miss A website, so... It's a pretty good, it's an okay dupe, but it's not the same. It's to TJ Maxx and I found two Stila glitters. This one is the Glitter and Glow, and the other one is Little White Lies. So I got them in two shades. One is Dollish and one is Mint Myth are the two colors that I got. So I picked those two up. I found some of the Wet n Wild powders. I have the Cover All Pressed Powder in Medium. I found this at Dollar Tree. And the Wet n Wild Pressed Powder in Warm Light. I believe I bought this in the past. It's really good for under the eyes. So I'm gonna give that one a try again. I don't remember if I liked it or not, but I'm gonna give it another shot. So I have this one, and then I found this one for all over the face. So try those and then they have this wet n wild photo focus uh, foundation stick and this one is in the color sunkiss sunkiss beige so it's supposed to be an easy foundation stick for all over the face i think this would be great in the summertime so i'm gonna give that one a try and i found a flower beauty gloss this one is in the shade Give Peach a Chance. This is a high shine lip lacquer. So it's a really pretty peach shade. I thought I could use this in the summertime. It's very pretty. I found some more Wet n Wild liquid cat suits at Dollar Tree. So I was really happy to, I was really surprised that they had this there in the first place. So I picked up two of these. This is a repurchase. I love this shade. This one is in the shade um, Scent Nudes very beautiful nude so I have that one and they had this one I've never tried this one's called cedar later it's a very pretty shade too can't wait to try that one and then I found this covergirl lipstick in coral line coral line it's a very beautiful corally pink shade I have that one they had this Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Automatic Pencil in Rusty Terracotta. I like that. So pretty. I thought it was a lip liner, but it's actually an eyeliner. So, hmm. That would be pretty in the waterline, I believe. And then, in Wild Color Icon Blushes. One is in the shade... Pearlescent pink. I bought this in the past. It's a very beautiful pinky shade. Love that one. And then I have apricot in the middle. It's a beautiful shade also. Like that. And I bought this highlighter already and I used it today and it's so pretty. It's the LA Colors Highlight in Shine Bright. This was an also a recommendation on YouTube. It's very good. Very, very good. And I also found this Wet n Wild Lip Scrub. Perfect Pout in the shade Brown Sugar. So nice. I'm going to give that one a try. Never tried it, but it looks nice. I also found some lashes at Dollar Tree. These are so good. These are by the Ioni brand. These are the 3D Mink Lashes. The extra large wispy dramatic ones are so good. I bought two of them. They're gorgeous. They last a long time. They're very good. These are actually the same brand, just um, the wispy ones. Medium, I think. The medium wispies are really good. So I love them. The next things, I got some makeup from Amazon. I wore this today. This is by the Hand Handelon. I don't know how to say that, but they're glitter liquid eyeliners. Look like this. They're very beautiful. 
I used the silver one today on my eyes just as an eyeliner. They work very well. I'm very impressed. So they have all these colors here. Very gorgeous. They weren't expensive either. I think they were like 13 bucks. Not bad. And then I bought this palette right here. This one is a 12, 24 color glitter eyeshadow palette. It's like this. It's absolutely gorgeous. So it has all of these glitter shades. I love pressed glitters. You have to be very careful with these, not to get these in your eyes, but I'm very careful. So they're gorgeous. I can't wait to play around with this. Um, like I said, I found it on Amazon. It wasn't expensive either. So I can't wait to try that out. So there's that. Also from Amazon, there's these glitters. These are called the Glitties Cosmetics. Looks like this. It's a beautiful green color. I'm obsessed with green lately. I don't know what it is, but it's so gorgeous. It has like blue, greens, and yellow glitter all mixed together. It's gorgeous in the pan. So I'm going to give that one a try. No, the LA Girl Lip Plumper Tinted Lip Gloss. And this one is in the shade Tinkled or Tickled. Tickled. It's a very pretty pink color. I'm going to give that one a try. I love plumping lip glosses, so... But I'm not too fond of the, you know, the tube. It's kind of a squeezy tube, but it's okay. I'm going to give it a try. So yeah, so that was part one. I'll give you part two. Okay, so that is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have subscribed already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.